Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, time for some more Monkish. I've been extremely fortunate uh, during this whole shut down shelter in place thing with Monkish. Um, one of my buddies, Caleb, has hooked me up with a lot of Monkish beer to review. So this beer comes courtesy of him. So I appreciate you, bro. Seriously, thank you so much for sharing these beers. So um, this is Glitter Red Hop. And I love this label. I think we reviewed Glitter Green Hop, or maybe it was just regular Green Hop. I've re I think I've reviewed a couple of these beers. Um, these are the Pale Ales from Monkish, and you know that I'm hashtag Team Low ABV. Um, but when they do the Glitter Hop with the big hop on the logo, it means it's double dry hop. So this is a double dry hopped Pale Ale, clocking in at 6.4% alcohol by volume. Um, I don't know the hops, and it's interesting. With this can, it does not have a date on it. I think this is two or three weeks old today time of recording i don't know when this is going to get uploaded is may 31st so i don't know when this was canned it's pretty fresh though um i remember they just posted about canning this so i i don't know if they forgot to date these cans what they were doing so um don't know the hops i'm not sure we're kind of going into this one blind um, we're going to use our monkish rainbow tiku because i don't have a red has monkish ever made a red hop tiku i don't know i don't have one so I figure this one has a red hop on it, so it's proper AF. Beer tastes better in proper glassware. I've been saying that for the last six years. If you guys don't believe me, try it. I, I, I wouldn't lie to you guys. It's a true story. So let's get into the beer. It looks like freaking a monkish beer. It is completely hazy, uh, as we say haze for days. There's a good, I don't know, half a finger, bright white head. It's sudsy, rocky. Um, it, I mean, this looks like a monkish beer in the glass, right? It's pretty crazy pale ale. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friends, is a pale ale from Monkish in the year 2020. One of the most fucked up years ever. I think this is... 2020 is... Eh, fuck, it's not good. Especially the shit that happened last week in Minneapolis and all the stuff that's going on now. This is... We're in some fucked up times right now. Uh, but beer helps, I guess. So that's what we're doing. We're going to just drink through it and just... Fuck, man. Crazy. So uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's drink a beer, talk about it, see what we think. Shiver knows in it. Oh, it smells like candy. It smells like hard. It's, uh, it smells like, remember when we were kids? Well, I, I guess kids these days still get them. Um, on Halloween, you'd get the little roll. What are those? Smarties? The Smarties? Uh, Smarties are the ones that are really small. They're like chalky. That's what this smells like. That's, <laughs> now that I'm saying that, it's, it's all I smell. Um, it just smells like crazy, sugary, confectionery, powdered sugar. It smells fucking awesome. It's like so, it's so like crazy sweet, like candy that it smells artificial. Like this doesn't smell real. Um, it offers like this crazy passion fruity juice box kind of a aroma. But I think I'm smelling the smarty thing because it has that, and people talk about, what is it, calcium chloride? I fucking don't know the science with the beer, but um, we talk about like the chalky aromas um, and people talk about how these heavily hopped hazy beers have i think it's calcium chloride I, i'm probably wrong but i think this beer like is giving that because it has that crazy intense chalky i say like flintstone vitamin -y thing but this does this smells like a crazy like fake juice box um but it also gives off a little bit of that kind of harsh herbaceous um like just green kind of like when i say green like think like like chlorophyll green like the green matter of like vegetables it almost gives like a weird not weird but like a crazy kind of spearmint thing which is awesome it is super super pungent on the aroma so let's go ahead and taste it caleb cheers thank you sir that's good um this is reminding me a lot right now of the triple dry hop juice lee that we reviewed last week um aroma is just so intense and so crazy um but the taste just does not follow what you're smelling that doesn't mean it's a bad thing it's just if they could somehow with the way these beers smell with these pale ales juice lee was what is this 6.4 i think juice lee was right at six percent um if monkish could somehow get these six to six and a half percent beers that smell the way they smell, taste the way that they smell. I mean, this would be like 
we like I said, we'd get banned from YouTube. Everything you smell, though, taste follows. Um, it it does. It tastes like a juice box, like a passion fruit juice box. Think of like high C. Um, but you do you get that chalky Flintstone vitamin thing, uh, and that crazy intense like green like vegetable matter is there. It doesn't like I was saying. I was smelling. You can smell like almost a spearmint thing. You don't get anything like like minty on that, but it offers like this really and like crazy. I don't want to say vegetal because it's not. I know I said like green matter. Like I'm trying to think of what what green matter that is that you taste. Because it definitely smells like if you open a pack of gum, <laughs> it has that, but it doesn't taste like that. It's really good though. It's I mean. It's a, it's a six and a half percent beer. It's crazy drinkable. Um, the carbonation's awesome. It's nice and prickly on your tongue. Um, as this is warmed a little bit, it offers a little bit of bitterness, um, but there's like this cool biscuity kind of bready sweetness that is on the finish of that. That I mean, it, it makes it, I mean, I know it's double dry hop, but it's a pale ale. This isn't getting super aggressive on your palate. Like they're really intense IPAs and double IPAs. Um, it's just, a crusher of a beer it's really really good i just if they could figure out how to make these things taste the way that they smell it would be next level ridiculousness that being said this is amazing um i you guys know if you watch my reviews i'm a i love uh, like low abv beers i know 6.4 percent is not considered a low alcohol beer like when you think about you know the domestic light beers that are three percent or whatever it is that's not this but this is not an eight and a half nine and a half percent double ipa um, I mean, you can drink a couple of these and you'll be fine. Like I enjoy that. I'm not going to be super hungover if I have a couple of these. Um, I, I just, I love pale ales. I love low ABV beers. I like single IPAs. Like this is my wheelhouse. Really, really good. Um, this isn't anything crazy mind blowing, but it's fucking delicious. So we'll leave it at that. Really, really good stuff. I just, man, if, if it could taste the way that it smelled, my goodness gracious, it would be fucking fire. It'd be awesome. So uh, that's Glitter Red Hop from Monkish in Torrance, California. Uh, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.